Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I'm making, please click that subscribe button. Also remember to click that bell button and make sure to tick that box to send all notifications so you don't miss out on any videos. With that in mind, let's get on with the video. What's up guys, welcome to Moshkins Gaming where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Moshkins logging in to bring you another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. In this video, we're going to be going through the hardest fight in Sid's Lost Chapter, Space Dream Part 14, Hard Mode. Now first of all guys, I'm sorry that this video is late. I have just finished my night shift and I'm... I'm pretty much running at like three hours of sleep right now so forgive me if I mispronounce something or I forget something I have my notes but you never know what's gonna happen when you only have three hours of sleep okay so without further ado let's start this video now as always we will start off with the weaknesses, resistances and the abilities of the final boss and in this case it is going to be the Rampage Machine. It has a ton of weaknesses, for, for example it's weak to thunder, water, wind elements, plus it's also weak to physical range attacks. It does have one resistance which is ice and as for its abilities it has the W Machine Gun which is basically a range brave attack. It has Smoke Shot, which is an HP magic attack. Then it has the Offensive Machine Gun, which is a range brave attack, which also grants itself an attack up. Next, it has Charge, which increases its brave based on its initial, initial brave and grants itself a defense up and a brave region as well. Next is the Electromagnetic Barrier, which is going to be the bane of your existence for this one, which increases its Brave based on its initial Brave and grants itself an HP damage redu reduction buff plus a magic damage resist buff. Next it has Hyper Machine Gun which is a more powerful, powerful version of his um, W Machine Gun basically and it has Mantra or Matra? I, I think it's Matra. Matra Magic which is a group Brave Magic Attack plus an HP attack as well. Next it has this run away or run amok uh, sort of when you, it gets to a certain point of its HP which increases its Brave based on its max Brave and raises its attack as well. Next it has school cooldown which basically cancels all his buffs and then finally it has shooting spree which is a 9 hit range brave attack plus a group HP attack. Each brave attack damages randomly or damages a character randomly like uh, like 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1 but depending on you know how many characters you have up at the time. Now let's take a look at some resistances. It has a low resistance to the attack down debuff and is immune to the speed down debuff. Okay, so now that we know the weaknesses and the resistances of the boss and its abilities as well, it's time to take a look at some general tips and guide. And the first one, as always, is to save about 70% of your abilities. And I'm gonna try to re reiterate to you guys to really save as much of your abilities as you can, especially if you're running with a full DPS team because the HP damage reduction is not only just re re reducing rather I don't know why I did that but it doesn't reduce like just half of the, your damage it reduces more than half of your HP damage so if you don't have anyone that can remove that buff then I would suggest to really save a lot of your abilities Next is to bring in the boosted characters such as Sid, Rem, and Zell. They are the synergy characters for this fight. But if you don't have these characters, other characters that you might want to consider bringing are Golbez, Quistis, Cloud, Furion, Vincent, Thancred, Agrius, Bartz, Paladin Cecil, Kane, Rosa, Laguna, Garnet, Lightning, Renoa, Sephiroth, Jet, Kefka, or Edgar. Now, 
Edgar is a bit of a, a just a stretch for me. He's not exactly the strongest character that you have, but he does do bonus damage to machine types. So, I mean, I guess for fun you can try him out. Uh, Kefka is also an in interesting choice here with obviously um, removing the boss's ability ability to do HP damage plus it inflicts blind as well so it can be quite clutch I mean honestly with all the abilities it really only has like two um, all attacks and they're both HP attacks so you know if it's gonna be an all attack it's probably gonna be one um, a good time to inflict Kefka's debuff and I mean, the only other single target HP attack it has is just Smoke Shot, so it's quite predictable and Kefka will probably be a good choice here. Now of course, we're gonna have a look at some of your healer slash brave battery options. As always, you have the option between Ram, Selfie, Maria, Echo, Lena, or Kate Sith. Now obviously Lena is the first choice. If you have her 15, 35 plus her EX, then there is no competition here. So but if you don't have Lena, then obviously then the next bar down, I suppose, I feel like is going to be Echo. And his selfie is there as well. Good for bulk healing. And for the summon, of course, there's only one summon really that is good right now, and that's going to be Ifrit. He's the only one that you can get to level 30. Okay, so now let's concentrate on some tips and guides for the actual fight itself. Now, let's start off with your support. There are obviously a lot of characters that you can bring for your support, depending on your team, of course. So if you're planning to bring Faris, Vanille, or Sid for your support, I suggest you would bring a full DPS team so you can burn down the boss as quick as possible. But if you are planning to bring a debuffer in your team, like again, Faris, Vanille, or Sid, then you might want to bring something like Aquistis, Golbez, and Renoa basically to give you that extra ump on your DPS. Now the next tip is, uh, well, to bring in the debuffer. Ideally, it's going to be Ferris, Vanille, or, you know, to take the HP damage reduction out of the equation, you can also bring Sid. Um, and again, like I said, mentioned earlier, uh, you can bring Kefka because it is quite predictable when the boss is going to use their HP attack. Whenever it uses an all attack, then you know that they are going to be inflicting an HP attack. Because it's either going to be Matra Magic or the Shooting Spree, which again, both uh, are all attacks and has an HP attack at the end. Now the next tip is to obviously bring in a healer. Uh, even though there isn't an HP requirement in this fight, it's still ideal to bring a healer since the boss can be quite aggressive with its HP attacks, especially if you're not bringing Kefka. It, it's just something that uh, you probably will get a higher score, especially if you don't take any HP attacks. When it goes run amok or does a run away or that, that um, status, I suppose, they do get pretty aggressive. So ideally bringing a healer will help with your clear. And finally, again, I, I think I'm just beating it repeating the same things but all the all attacks are HP attacks and again it's great if you are bringing your own Kefka or you can just bring a support Kefka and just bring them in when you know it's going to happen okay so now that we have gotten away or we're done with the general tips it's time to take a look at some possible party compositions now, in this case, the first one is always going to be your synergy characters so with Sid, Rem, Zell, and I'm putting Quistis as the support here because that, that extra delay will actually help you out. And of course, for the summon, you have Ifrit. The next team I have for you is the one that you're seeing here, which is if you're planning to carry Sid in this lost chapter. And yeah, ideally, you probably want to 
do this in one go but if you don't have Sid powered up this is the team that you want so you have Renoa, Lena and of course Sid with a Jet or a Golbez support you can probably throw in Quistis there or Renoa as well for the extra HP damage but you know it, it's really up to you and of course Ifrit for the summon again now for the next one, I have here Jet, Lulu, and Sid. This is more so if you if you have built up your Sid or if you have his EX weapon, that would be actually great. Uh, so the plan here is obviously for Lulu to buff the team with her fire enchant and do the fire imperil. Jet will do an insane amount of damage with his jet slash and of course Sid is there to get rid of the HP damage guard um, buff from the boss and of course for your support it's going to be quite a, a lot of um, different options but I have put Quistis here as well because she can add a, a little bit more um, max brave to the team when the bosses are inflicted with a debuff and of course for the summon you have ifrit which will do bonus damage with lulu in your team now the final party composition or um, team that i would suggest is going to be sid kane and fang these are i suppose the dragoons if you will of the um, game and Again, Sid is there to get rid of the HP damage reduction and, you know, Kane can do a launch if you have his EX weapon and he does a decent amount of damage as well, of course, because the boss is weak to range physical attacks. And Fang can always um, send them flying as well, so, you know, this is basically a Dragoon team. Basically, it's uh, something for fun, I suppose. And for your support, uh, I did put Renoa here um, just for the extra oomph again on the damage. And of course, Ifrit for your summon. Okay, so we are at the end, nearing the end of this video, I should say. Um, and of course, I will give you guys my final thoughts of the fight. Now, I do believe this is more challenging than when the first EX um, for Sid came out and I believe it's a little bit up there when it comes to challenge, challenging you, I suppose, in a way. Um, the boss do have a decent amount of HP and you do have to have some sort of um, plan uh, when going into this fight. You can't just face roll into this. Uh, fight especially especially with the HP damage reduction buff that the boss gets uh, the good thing is only one of them actually will use that um, if you can keep if you know who it is and then you can kill the other one then you can just debuff or get rid of the other one and then you know kill kill it off but if you go in here without a plan or if you're just planning to sort of face roll the uh, the boss and just like what you guys are sort of seeing here with what I did because um, uh, Eventually you, you do need to pay attention on the boss, which I actually didn't uh, I was doing this while I was at work um, so <laughs> during my break of course um, so uh, my attention span and my focus wasn't really there and I just try to just kill him off and you'll see that I actually tried to I do believe I did some HP damage even though that the boss still has their HP damage reduction buff um, and I have failed a few times as well uh, because I was just like yeah I'm just gonna face roll this and didn't pay attention and, and someone ended up dying so uh, I suppose if I was paying attention it wouldn't be that bad but um, it's not like you're any other uh, lost chapter or extreme fight which you can just pretty much face roll um, and I would say the last few ones except of course Sephiroth's uh, lost chapter that was a that was a decent one as well um, but overall I think um, just pay attention and you should be fine in this fight and again bring a debuffer <laughs> just saying uh, Ferris Vanille uh, of course are the best ones because they can completely take off the um, the buff that the boss has or the buffs I should say that the boss has and so yeah 
Uh, and I think I will end the video right here. So remember to click like and subscribe if you find this video informative, informative at all. And plus, share this video to your friends who are struggling with this fight. I mean, it really helps this channel. And I really want to keep going with this channel, of course. Plus, it helps motivate me to make more of these videos. And before I do go, please leave a comment down below. What team did you use to beat Sid's Lost Chapter? Plus, is any is anyone here actually playing Final Fantasy XIV as well? Because um, I just recently got back and trying to catch up, you know, doing. Uh, extremes and stuff like that and leveling other jobs I only have one level 80 at the moment so leave in that comments below if you're playing Final Fantasy 14 and if you're interested in me making any Final Fantasy 14 content again this is Munchkins logging off and I'll see you guys in the next level